we are going to do a one box penny hunt today this will be my second penny video we will be looking for wheat pennies indian heads and if we get lucky a flying eagle we're also going to be looking for varieties and errors we do have rob's penny rob finds treasures penny mat here has a lot of the varieties that you're looking for and the key dates and semi key dates so we're going to be using that as one of our tools so let's open these up and see if there's see what's inside actually don't know oh they are circulated that is cool so they are circulated i am not seeing anything popping out so we're going to get this box out of the way and start this hunt we are on roll number three and i see some ears weed ears sticking out at me and we're going to see what our first wheat penny is a 1955 out of philadelphia cool first weedy on the board 55 we have our second wheat penny here i already looked at this it is so slicked out i believe it might be a 1914 but it is really messed up but number two roll number 10 I'm not sure what it is but it's 19 something could be a four doesn't look like there's a mint mark on it but we'll take a better look at it for the wrap up number two I didn't take notice till after I opened it up, but do we do have a foreign ender? I believe it's Canadian. And it is a 1971 Canadian. Cool. First foreign on the board. We are on roll number 17. And we are going to get our third wheat penny. It's going to be a 1951 from Denver. Cool. Third wheat cent on the board. We have another wheat scent. Let's see what it is. 1957 Denver, it looks like. Cool. 57 Denver. Fourth wheat scent on the board. We have found our fifth wheat penny. It is a 1944 Denver. Wore out. Number five, cool. We have our second foreign coin. Looks Canadian, and it is Canadian. It is a 19, I believe 62. These coins are dirty in this box. 1962, I guess that is a young head. Cool, foreign number two. In the same row, we have another Canadian. It is a 1974. Cool. A third foreign of the box. We have a sixth wheat penny in rule number 25. It's a little war. war. Looks like a 1956 Philadelphia. Cool. Number six. We have our seventh wheat scent here. It is going to be a 1955 Denver. Cool. Number seven. We are on roll number 36 and we'll have our eighth wheat penny. It will be 1944 Philadelphia. Cool. Number eight. Very next roll, roll number 37. We're going to get another wheat penny. It's going to be 1941 Philadelphia. Cool. Number nine on the board. Looks like we're going to get our 10th wheat penny in roll number 39. And it is going to be a 1945 Philadelphia. And it is beat up. But it is number 10 cool i just laid out roll number 43 and i seen a wheat penny flop out over here in the back and it looks really slicked out too it is a 1920 from philadelphia that is pretty slick that's pretty cool number 11 on the board cool 
We are on roll number 46, and I already looked at it because I did not realize this was going to be a wheat penny, but we have a 1957 Denver. I would have never guessed that that was a wheat penny as nice a shape as it is. That is pretty cool. 1957 Denver. Number 12. Cool. We are on roll number 48, and we're going to get our fourth foreign coin. It looks like it's going to be a 1997 Canadian. Fourth Canadian on the board. Cool. We're on roll number 49, and we're going to get another wheat penny. It's going to be a 1958 Philadelphia. Cool. Number 13. That was a pretty good box. We ended up getting 13 wheat pennies out of that and some other finds. So the one that I thought was a 1914 Philadelphia actually is a 1911, I believe, Denver. It almost looks like an estimate mark, but I believe it is a Denver. So if you look on Rob Fine's Treasures Penny Mat, 1911 San Francisco would have been 4,026,000 minted. But this, I believe, is a Denver, which would make this 12,672,000 minted. We'll take a better look at that at the end of the wrap up and we also ended up getting a 1920 philadelphia a 41 from philadelphia two 44s one from philly and one from denver a 45 from philly a 51 from denver two 55s one from philly one from denver a 56 from philly two 57s from denver a 58 from philly and this one here was really cool if you don't get too many nice ones, but that is a really nice quick keeper there, I'll tell you. And we also did get four farms, which were all Canadian. We got a 62, a 71, a 74, and a 97. And also found a really nice 1974 in that mess. Not too many nice ones in that box. They're pretty filthy, but that's a pretty cool one. I'll be keeping that one. And we found all four varieties of the 2009s. We ended up getting two from the birth years, two from the formative years, five from his professional life, and two from the presidency. That's pretty cool. And this one here, this one that looks like a 14 when I first thought about it, you can really see it better on the phone now that I looked at. I thought it was a 14, but if you look at that, that is a 1911. It almost looks like an S, but underneath the scope, it looks more like a D. But that is a cool find. 1911 from Denver. Cool. I would like to thank everyone for watching my latest video and good luck on your next hunt.